How's it going everyone? This is my 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. When I first got the car, it was sitting for 30 years and I had to do a lot of work to it. So, first off, this thing, it's got a 344 barrel and a 904 and an 8 and 3 quarter. Rear end out of a 70 duster. Here it is. I put the headers in it, they were a pain in the ass. But uh, all the paint melted off a little more already, of course. Uh, I rebuilt the car, put a new radiator in it, put a new starter in it, a uh, new fuel pump, all new brake lines, fuel lines, training lines, all new, uh, new master cylinder, new brakes all around. Oh, and one little thing, both uh, frame rails were completely rotted out. So me and my dad, we had to build completely new ones from scratch. All new. I put new shocks all around. Completely new frame rails from scratch. I'll show a picture of the ones when they were rotted. This is the original frame rail, and these are the ones we built. And next, I'm going to show you a video of what the car looked like. I had it a lot more ripped apart than I show you in the video, but here it is. But yeah, here's the other side. And here's under the car. I had to, we had to weld in a new cross member on the other side. We built our own exhaust. It's dirty right now because I just got came off the road. There's the new brake line. On the other side, this is the new cross member. Right here. It goes, the other side was solid, so we just left it. There's the header sticking out and everything. In the back of the car, I put, uh, I put a new tank in it. I threw traction bars in the back, new shocks. These tires, I'm just, uh, just running these tires for the winter. And then in the summer, I'm going to put fatter tires on the back. So yeah, I've decided to dump the exhaust out right here and not cut it on a 45 because it's different and I, I don't know, I like it like that. Yeah, the, I got an aluminum three-core radiator. It was pretty cheap too, so it keeps the car nice and cool. Also in the front end, all the steering, all the steering ball joints, all the suspension in the front is new. No leaks. Spent a lot of time doing this car right, getting it right. And yeah, this is uh my 67 Barracuda. All right, so here's the interior of the car. It's actually in really good condition. So both the floors were rotted out. So we bent our own 16 gauge steel floor patches. It goes all around there. And the other side we had to cut out even more. Yeah, the, all everything's original on the interior. On around the other side. The floor patch on this side was a lot bigger. It goes all the way around and then up top down the corner and under the seat a little bit. So all right, so now I'm gonna start it up for you guys.
And yeah, my future plans with the car, gonna get some like 15 by eight Kreger SS's, put them on the back, put like 10 inches of rubber on the back, get it wider, get the car planted on the ground nicely. Yeah, also plans with this car are to put this ratchet shifter in it I got. So I could bang some gears. I also wanna put dumps out on the exhaust so I can just run open headers and then uh, make it so I could switch from exhaust, like normal exhaust, like this exhaust to uh, just open headers. All right, so now we're gonna go for a ride. Now we're just going for a little cruise. It's wet out, so can't really gun it. I'll just switch tire at like 40 mile an hour. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a nice driving car. It doesn't pull to the side or anything. It goes down the road straight. Yeah, it's a nice daily driver. Daily driver. This isn't my only project, but this is my daily driver. I do drive this daily. But for my uh, other projects, over here I got a 72 Corvette, four speed 350 car from factory. It's a convertible red on red. And then uh, down here I got something I've been working on for almost two years now. It's been a long time coming. So down here is my pride and joy. I'm doing a complete restoration on it. It's a 1978 uh, Ford F-150, 351 modified, four speed. I've been working on this truck for almost two years now. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get it done one of these days, pretty soon. But stay tuned to see more of this truck. I did everything on this thing. So it's just completely 100% mint. I'm also gonna daily this truck, like my Barracuda, and yeah, me and uh, me and him spent ten hours polishing these valve covers one night. <laughs> they were completely white and whatever. I don't know. It was just all fogged up. Yeah. Gross. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. Hopefully, it'll be done kind of soon. I'll post more videos about it as well. Yeah, so nice little mini bike here. <laughs> Best exhaust out there. All right, guys. Yeah, thank you for watching if you made it all the way to the end. This is my 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. There will definitely be more videos on this car later on. The more stuff I do to it. Yeah.